Hello, I'm Tess, and today I'm going to talk about online shopping festivals. As we all know, there are many shopping festivals around the world. Black Friday, Double Eleven, like Pre Festival, King Festival, whatever. Like anyway, in these festivals, um, those producers would give a discount to the products, and people will feel like they can buy cheaper goods in normal days than normal days. So in last year, I think in last year's double 11 festival, um, Chinese economic already have a big growth on that day. Why I say that? Because according to the data given by the official authorities, um, only in one hour in double 11, the self room is equals to the GDP of 16 countries. And in the 24 hours, it's about 27 countries in the world. Um, this really surprised me, like what we buy on that day and how we spend those money. Like Anna, um, do you like a part, take part in that day? Yeah, I bought a bunch of perfume at the WM. Oh, really? Yeah, actually I spent a lot of money on that day. And do you think why you will? Like buy goods um, on that day because they offer the most significant discount that day. Yeah, so they are cheaper, right? They are very cheap. So I think that's the reason of it. But also, we also find a data from online from Baidu is that actually there's only seventeen percent of products really give a discount, which means that other products are not really cheaper than other days. So I found the mainly three, three strategies that those cunning online uh, retailers used uh, in their, in, on that day, which like will cheat you, like fool us. The first one is the A, A minus, and B effect. Okay, I will explain what is going on. Let's take an example. Like for example, in an economic journal, they are going to update their information. So there are three types of like options you can choose. The first one is the electronic version, which is the cheapest, cost sixty dollars per year. And another one is the printed version, and another, which is, seems really weird. You can buy both one, both of them, and it also costs one hundred dollars. Like. Monica, like which one will we choose? Um, the last one. Um, uh, actually, uh, according to the research, if you remove the third option, um, eighty-four percent of people will choose the electronic version, which is like more reasonable. But after add the plan three, um, about sixty-eight percent of people will choose the third one, which is a little bit funny, but. Actually, it seems like plans to make plans three more valuable. And like this is how this is work. And like in the Taobao, many online shoppers, shopping centers, they will use that. Like many products, it seems very expensive, and it is unnecessary to put it on it because no one will buy it. But because of those products, it seems like other products will be cheaper and more valuable. And second one is the risk effect. Let's take another example. For example, Monica, uh, if someone will give you like three million for free, and there are two options, you can just get it and go away. And another option is you can take part in a game. You have 80% of possibility to win like even more money. Like totally you can get seven million dollars and, and or you have 20% of possibility that you may lose a lot of money. So which one like, will you choose? I will get the money to go away. Yeah, it seems like more like wiser, wiser than the second option. But actually uh, those retailers use this like psychological effect in your heart. Like they, you will think Actually, in normal days, they still have this account. 
but you will think maybe you will lose this chance to get cheaper products. So, like, even though you know you may have other chances to buy cheaper goods, you are still to use your money on that day. So that's why you can. That's why there's so high volume, the like, selling products on that day. And let's see the third one. Uh, what is mental account? Mm, let's take another instance. For example, Anna. Uh, one day you are going to watch a movie and before you leave, you find that you lost a phone card which cost you 100 yuan. And will you still go to see the movie? Even the movie ticket also cost 100 yuan. Maybe I'll go to see the movie. Yeah, it seems like there's like no relationship between two products. Yeah. And if another chance, like if you before you go to the see the movie, you found that you mm -hmm. your movie ticket lost, and it also takes you about one hundred yuan. So will you still to buy it again to see the movie? No. Yeah, it seems like you have lost it, and it will be a kind of waste of money to buy it again. Mm -hmm. So that's how mental account work. It seems like the phone phone card and the movie ticket. You put it different things in different mental account, so you will value these things in your like mind. Like in the double eleven, like in this shop, it seems like you can buy a television in normal days, like seven seven hundred dollars, and you can buy another speaker box like one hundred dollars. And you put these things in different mental accounts, but in that day, it was says that you can get 800 TV television and you can get a phone speaker box for free. It seems like in the speaker, speaker box uh, mental account, you can get it for free, like zero dollars. Mm -hmm. And in the television, it seems like there's no big difference between seven and 800. Mm -hmm. So like you will, it will push you to buy it on that day. So I think these are the main reasons why we will like so repulsively buy goods on that day. Um, but what we need to think, like just little suggestions from me, maybe before you buy the products, we need really need to make a list. Like, do I really need something? And before the day, we need to make a research because some tricky retailers they will change the price of the products. Like just before the recent days, we need to like have a long-term research about the real prices of those and do they really change the prices? So that's all the suggestions.